come to day 24 of the February set. Today is um, focusing on the Niyama um, of Tapas, which is austerity. So we'll just keep this in our minds uh, throughout the practice, whatever that means to you. Um, and we're going to be doing a lower body stretch. Um, so it'll be just stretching out the legs and uh, we have a twist um, variation at the end. So we'll just start um, on our comfortable, comfortable seated position, crossing our legs, and we'll just take one big inhale through the nose, and exhale out of the mouth. Just exhaling everything out, ready to begin our practice. Come back to a normal breath, and we'll blink open the eyes. We're going to stretch out the right leg, Keep that left foot in close to our body. Flex the right toes. And we're gonna bring our right hand towards the foot and reach our left hand overhead. You can rotate the chest here and look up. Keep those right toes flexed. When you exhale, we're gonna turn the body to face the straight leg. We'll inhale here. And then we'll exhale, draw our chest towards the leg. Should put a really nice stretch in the back of the leg here. And hamstrings especially. And then we'll inhale, start walking the hands back up, nice and slowly. And then we'll swap over, so we'll bring the right foot in close to the body and the left foot comes, the left leg comes out straight. So we'll bring the left hand to the foot or if it comes to the shin, wherever your hand meets. And then we'll reach the right hand overhead. You can look up, rotate the chest. Keep breathing here. On your next exhale, we'll turn the chest towards the leg. We'll inhale here. And then we'll exhale, fold over the leg. Again, you should feel a really nice stretch in the back of this leg. And then we'll inhale to start walking back up. And we'll bring this right leg out as well, so both legs out straight. We'll inhale to lengthen the spine, keep the feet, keep the feet flexed. And then we'll exhale to fold our body in between the legs. You should start feeling a really nice stretch on the inside of the thighs here. Keep the feet nice and flexed, and then we can start walking forward a little bit further as we exhale. You may want to hold on to the feet here. Or you may just want to have your hands on the floor. And as we next inhale, we'll just start walking the hand back up. Sit up straight, and then we'll bring our feet in soles of the feet together, nice and close to the body. We'll peel open the feet as if it's a book, opening up the hips. We'll inhale to lengthen, and then we'll exhale to fold over the legs. Reaching our nose just in front of our toes. Inhale to lengthen again, and then exhale to fold. On our next inhale, we'll start to roll back out of this butterfly fold. Support the knees as you bring them back up close together. And we're just going to come onto our tabletop, so on our hands and knees. And then we'll lift the right foot towards the top of the mat. Keep the right left knee down and we'll come up to our low lunge. So 90 degree, our heel underneath our knee in the right leg. We'll hold on to the right thigh and we're just going to lower down into our hips here. While you're here, think about pushing your left hip towards the mat so we're squaring our hips. A really nice stretch for the hip flexor. And then from here, we're going to bring our hands to the floor. Inside of the right foot, move the right foot out towards the side of the mat, the right side. And we're in our lizard, so you can either be up on your hands or you can lower down onto your forearms. Keep 
Keep your shoulders relaxed here. Just stretching into the hips. Keep breathing. And the next inhale, we'll just start to come back up onto our hands if you're on your um, if you're on your forearms. Keep that left hand planted. We'll bring the left foot into the bottom. We'll circle around the right arm to meet the the right the left foot. If it doesn't meet, that's fine. But if it does, then pull the foot in towards the bottom. Keep the shoulder away from the ear. On your next exhale, we'll release this. We're going to bring the right foot in, straighten the right foot, and we're going to come to a runner's lunge. So we're going to flex the right toes, make sure those left toes are untucked. Inhale to lengthen here, and then exhale to fold over that right straight leg. Think about drawing your right hip back and your left hip forwards. And then we'll come back up. We're going to move the right foot towards the left side of the mat, heel toeing it until we lower the knee, the right knee, down and the right hip. If you can't get it, um, the shin parallel to the mat without being squared, then just bring that right foot in slightly to the left hip. Square the hip to the mat, so drawing the left hip down. Inhale here. And then exhale, draw down towards the mat, over the leg. You may want to create a pillow with your arms or your hands, or you may want to reach forwards with your arms for sleeping pigeon. Keep thinking about drawing the left hip towards the mat. And keep breathing, finding space and moving into that space. And on your next inhale, we'll start to walk back out of pigeon. We'll bring our hands to the mat and we'll just step back into our tabletop, hands and knees. We'll bring the left foot up to the top of the mat and come up into our low lunge on the left side. Hands on the, the thigh and we'll lower down into this lunge. 90 degree in the left knee, so the heel, the ankle is underneath the knee. And again, think about pushing your right hip, facing it towards the mat. Keep breathing. And we'll release the hands inside of the left foot. You may want to move your left foot out slightly towards the left side of the mat. We're in our lizard, so you can be up on your hands, but you may want to move down onto your forearms. Release those shoulders. Keep breathing. And then we'll come back up onto our hands if you're on your forearms. Keep that right hand planted, bring the right foot in. And we'll circle around with the left hand to try and meet with the foot. If you can meet it, then pull in that foot, the right foot towards the bottom. If you're doing this, then wherever you are, keep the ear away from the shoulder, and the shoulder away from the ear. And then we'll exhale to release. We'll bring that left foot in towards the middle, straighten the left leg, flex the left toes. Inhale to lengthen here, and exhale to fold into our runner's lunge. Think about drawing the left hip back and the right hip forwards, squaring the hips. And keep that left foot flexed. And then we'll come up again. And we're going to heel toe the left foot all the way to the right side of the mat, lowering the knee and the hip, the left knee and hip, down to the mat. Straighten the right leg behind and again squaring our hips to the mat. Inhale to lengthen here. And exhale to fold over the leg. You may want to create a pillow with your hands 
or again, straight snap the arms for sleeping pigeon. But wherever you are, think about drawing the right hip towards the mat, just a square. Coming off of that left hip. Inhale to find some space and exhale to move into that space. On the next inhale, we're going to start peeling out of this pigeon. And again, we'll tuck the tuck wall bubble. And again, we'll plant our hands and we'll step back to our tabletop. And this time we're just going to sit back on the heels and we're going to bring the legs all the way out to the front. Nice and straight. Flex the toes. Inhale the arms up. And then exhale, hinge forwards, reaching towards either your shins, the ankles, or wrapping around your feet. Wherever you are, keep your feet flexed. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to pull down your chest towards your legs. Inhale to find some space. And exhale to move into that space. On the next inhale, we'll start to roll back out. And then from here, we're going to circle and come face you. We'll circle the right leg around the bottom. Make sure your seat bones are planted. Pop your left foot outside of the right knee. Bring your right hand behind. Inhale the arm up, the right arm, and tuck it outside of the knee. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist and look over your left shoulder. Now if this is too much for you, then you can keep the leg that's circled around your bottom straight in front of you. On your next exhale, we'll come back to face the front and we'll release the legs and we'll swap them over. So we'll bring the left foot circled around the bottom, keep both seat bones planted. We'll bring the right foot outside of the knee. Right hand behind, inhale the left arm up and tuck the left elbow outside of the right knee. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. And again, you can keep that leg straight if you're struggling to keep your seat bones on the mat. On your next exhale, we'll come back to centre. We'll release our feet down into a comfortable seated, whether that's cross-legged for you. Bring our hands to our knees. You can face your palms up here. We'll come back to the intention or the theme of today, and that is tapas, austerity. And we'll bring our hands to heart centre. Namaste. So tomorrow will be a um, backbend uh, focus practice and that will be the theme or the niyama of sorcha, um, which is cleanliness. So it's kind of like we'll be doing um, cleaning out the body by doing some backbends and recalibrating the body, which should be really nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy that. I'll see you tomorrow and make sure you do subscribe to the channel and like all the videos that you've really enjoyed. Thank you.